hi this is your favorite babe Kirsty valentine thank you for tuning on to my channel today let me tell you something like share subscribe comment press the bells button for notifications as you know we have so many stories that go mainstream in our community it's your favorite babe your favorite tt thank you very much for tuning on to my channel now here's the news hot news hot gossip Aro IP, the most popular Lagos socialite, Alahaja Musura Tasabi, Oluwa Toyi, Oyemade Rufai, Abraham Akatoyi Igbira. She was said to have died at the early hours of Saturday, 20th July 2019, at a private hospital in Surulere, Lagos, after a long, a prolonged battle with ovarian cancer, which later spread to all parts of her body. She was a Kogibon socialite who was notoriously nabbed by the um, Musa Bamiyi led drug uh, law enforcement NDNLA as the most notorious drugs baroness of Nigeria. She was said to be into uh, the um, said powder business which she was introduced by one Nigerian law Nigerian London based baron called Fatai who's been dead for over 25 years now. She went to primary school from 1970 to 1976 and started secondary school and only was only there for the first and second year and she later joined her mom in the uh, fabric business going to Kotono to get fabric but it is suspected that herself and her mom were smuggling cigarettes into nigeria which she said she's she's uh Toyin said that she did the business selling cigarettes in the market for eight years before she was introduced into the drug business by the late fatai a nigerian london based drugs baron um she was barely literate she dropped out of school like i said before and um the unbelievable story started from the 1990s she was sentenced so many times for drug trafficking and in 1999 at the age of 36 she was nabbed and um nabbed after extensive undercover investigation in her heyday uh, people like k1 wasiu ayinde marshall abbas obesere sang her praises and poured accolades on her in social events she was the darling of social events in nigeria she loved to rub shoulders with the who and who in the society i mean k1 um uh, sorry was see you are in day dedicated a whole album singing her praises and, and you know accolades to her in all his tracks in that album i mean she he called her Wasi Yuayide Masha called her Onile Iru Li Abijan, meaning the one with the warehouse at Abijan. She controlled Abijan with the drug business. She controlled Abijan with the drug business. She was notorious. She had for an illiterate to be able to control an extensive network from here to Kotonou to Abijan to the United States to the United Kingdom. She was very, very successful in her business although she used the textile merchant trade as a cover of but her reoccupation was the powder uh, business that is why she is known as the most notorious baroness you know um she evaded numerous arrests several times you know she was sentenced to in 1995 she was sentenced to two years in jail we don't know if she even went to the jail not to talk of serving it but she was always at parties people saw her people flocked around her you know and you know she was declared one of the most wanted in the drug agency list in 1977 when she, in one of her trips to Yunayin, as, as just as she was about to board the plane to the United States, she was arrested and she excreted 72 packages weighing 675 grams. She is survived by three children and she has many grandchildren. She owed comfortable houses in Abuja, Lagos, and the United States. 
she had love for expensive jewelry customized diamond assemblies and exotic cars and it was legendary she was known for that she loved the good things of life the good taste of life and she did everything to acquire it for somebody who was barely illiterate she had been ill for five years and the of course the um, illness went into remission and about two months ago or uh, uh, sorry two two years ago over a year ago her health relapsed the deterioration of her illness made the doctor say to her that she would not live more than february 2019 Tony, it would have been the way she is naturally defiant beat the odds at least six months after the death date that was told and advised by her medical doctors and experts only to give up the ghost on saturday july 2019 in her heyday she was the toast of society everybody knew her unfortunately because of her quest to live this lifestyle a lot of people's life have been destroyed by the sort of white powder business that she was doing i hope that she was able to find peace and forgiveness within herself i hope that she was able to give her, her life to god and ask for forgiveness when i was growing up i was always told by my grandmother that life you take life easy you cannot hurry up life she's a young woman 57 years old and she's lost her life from cancer who knows where that cancer came from who knows all those years of swallowing drugs that might have have caused or erupted those cancer cells in her i'm not assuming i'm not a medical doctor but i just say and i also want to use this platform to advise young men and young women that the quest for money the insatiable hunger and quest for money is so deep that there is a hole in it the only road it leads to is darkness work hard do things the right way in this life that we come we have come into it's a gift we have to respect it we have to cherish it cherish it when we all were born we were born with two things your body and your soul when you came out when every every single human being came out of the womb they weren't holding any wealth they weren't even wearing any clothes they came in nakedness you come into this world everyone is like a trader it's a school it's an institution some people will pass and have distinction some people will pass and have credit some people will pass and have pass some people will pass and have faith whatever you do put god first have a conscience because there is nothing that you acquire in this world that you are going to take with you the only thing you take with you when you are going back is your soul you don't even take the body that you came into this world with so i will want to say rest in peace Allah Musura Toi Ashabi Abraham Onsachi Ibira rest in peace may your soul find forgiveness in Jesus name Amen guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel it's your favorite babe your favorite TT Kirsty Valentine hit that red button to subscribe bell button for notifications like comment share until our next video love and peace it's your favorite babe your favorite tt kesti